What's up everybody? This is Rafi Zerb, and in this video we're going to go through the Magellan component in foundation. Now the Magellan component will help you create a navigation that has smooth scrolling between sections of a page. So for example, like on the sidebar of the documentation here, this is using Magellan. So I want to click on sticky navigation. I'm going to get taken right to the particular spot on the page where I click and then I can click back up to setup. It's going to just navigate me quickly up and down the page. Um, this is really good uh, to help users navigate your really long pages. So I'm going to show you how to use Magellan and how to set that up uh, in the simple demo. So let's take a look. All right, so I have a really simple uh, menu set up here. So I have a UL with a class of menu. Uh, and the fact that it has these other classes on there don't matter, um, but it's just basically a menu. So I have that menu wrapped in data-magellan. So I just use the simple uh, nav tag data-magellan. It could be a div if you don't want to be, uh, to make this specifically a nav. Um, so that's up to you. So wrapping this navigation in data-magellan will actually make this navigation a Magellan navigation. So what does that mean? We have these anchors in here that are linking to a specific ID. Now these are spots on the page. So to set up an ID that links to a specific spot on the page, uh, in the href you use this hash symbol and then the name of your ID. So I used first, second, third, but you can use any names that you want. The important thing is that they match to an ID down your page. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we have this section here. It's a section with an ID of first. Now you notice that the ID name matches uh, what's up here in the menu. So in the anchor tag, we have hash first. So that matches this ID down here. The difference is that when you are using an ID on a section, you don't need to add the hash. That's only for anchor tags. To append a hash to the URL, basically it's going to send it to that specific spot on the page. Okay, now if we did this without Magellan, uh, then it would actually just immediately take you to that spot on the page. So I just deleted the Magellan attribute if I click first section, you see it just immediately jumps to the first section. So the difference is if I add that back in, now I'm using Magellan, it's going to animate that scroll down to that section, as you can see. So now if I use the second one, it's a little bit further away, you can see that it animates the scroll down to that section. Okay, and then if I scroll back up and then hit the third one, it's going to animate the scroll down to that third section. So that works really nicely. So the only thing we did was we uh, wrapped whatever our buttons or navigation or links with um, the data-magellan attribute. So that tells the JavaScript that this is a Magellan uh, component. So and these, um, these IDs Inside of the anchor tags, these are uh, standard uh, syntax for linking to a specific spot on the page. Now, on the targets themselves, we not only have the ID that matches, but we also have a data-magellan target. And so we pass in the ID there as well. So this tells the JavaScript that, hey, this is a Magellan target, destination, whatever you want to call it, um, that we're going to be scrolling to. And what this does is it allows the uh, Magellan's JavaScript to allow you to, you know, manipulate some of the um, positioning that it ends up on. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So this is really nice, but it would be a little bit nicer if the navigation actually scrolled with the user uh, down the page. So for that, we would actually couple it with the sticky component in foundation. Now the sticky component is a separate component altogether. I'm not gonna cover it too much here, but I'm gonna show you an example with sticky. So let's hop over to that. So first let's take a look at this one here. So what's the difference between the last one that we looked at? 
we have we still have our nav with data dash Magellan, uh, and we still have an unordered list here with a class of menu. So it's basically the same setup, and so we should indent those. All right. So the difference now is that this is wrapped in a sticky container. So data dash sticky container creates the sticky container that uh, calculates the height of this um, sticky component, and then div with a class of sticky uh, is also wrapping that uh, Magellan navigation and uh, here it has margin top zero so that means it's just going to anchor it at the top of the page automatically data dash sticky um, is the JavaScript data attribute that tells the JavaScript that this is a Magellan component so now this is going to be a sticky component. So as you can see, we scroll down the page, it's staying stuck at the top of the page. So if we click first arrival, it's going to scroll us to the first one. If we click second, it'll scroll us to the second one. Click third, it'll scroll us to the third one. Now, interestingly here, uh, we are using this with a sticky bar, and this bar has a specific height. Um, because when something is sticky, it is position fixed when it becomes sticky. Um, so you'll need to calculate in the height of this bar. Now the way that we're doing that is with a data attribute, data dash bar offset equals, and then we're setting that to 45, so that's 45 pixels. So if I set this to 90 pixels, you can see the difference when I click first arrival. Uh, now it's going to think the bar is 90 pixels and stop higher up before the first section or the second section. So because I knew the bar was 45 pixels, I set that to this height. It's actually going to line up perfectly now. So this bar offset allows you to calculate for diff differing heights in your navigation bar that uh, is the sticky component. So this is using Magellan with Sticky. Now you can also use this um, with a sidebar. I'm just going to show you one different way to set this up. So in this example, we have a small nine column section. So you can see that here, small nine column. So over on the right, that is creating this entire section here with the content. So this is like typical for a blog post or an article or something um, where you would have like a sidebar that um, you could scroll through the content. Now if we click on a specific section, it's going to smoothly scroll us to that section. So how is that set up? Same thing again, we have um, a section here with data dash Magellan target. Now this could have been, um, it, it's, it could be you don't have to use a section tag, you can use a div, you can use an article tag, that doesn't matter. What just matters is that you put this data dash Magellan target on a specific uh, element on the page, and so that way Magellan knows where to land. So we use an ID of MAG1 here, and then data dash Magellan target also equals that. Then down below here on the, on the right side, we'll have our small three columns with data dash sticky container, our div with a class of sticky just inside that. And that sticky component is anchoring to an ID of section two. So this is how you use sticky to anchor to a specific section. So if we scroll back up, uh, this div with an ID of section two is actually on the small nine columns. That's actually here at the top. So it's gonna anchor to the top of this uh, nine column section. So back to the Magellan component, you could see that it has data dash Magellan on there. And then we have our, our specific IDs to each section. So that's it, really simple, easy to use. Uh, and then you can smoothly scroll to sections back and forth as needed. Uh, and then with the sticky component makes it even more user friendly. So, if we take a look at the JavaScript reference at the bottom of the documentation page, you can see that there's a list of plugin options. So I already showed you the data dash bar offset, and that's one of the options down here. 
But you can also set up uh, deep linking with this. So if you want to be able to link to a specific spot on a page from another page and then have it smoothly scroll from the top to that specific section, deep linking is your guy right there. And then data dash active class, so you can change what the active class is. Um, you can see that I used that in my last example here. Uh, I'm actually using the active class that's added to the specific menu item to change the CSS. So if we take a look at that, um, it's really simple. Uh, when Data dash Magellan anchor tag has the class of active on it. I'm changing the background to black, changing the color to white. So that's a really simple way to do this. The default active class is active. And if you want to change that, then you can pass that into this uh, data attribute here. You can make it like is active or current or whatever works better for you. So. Lots of JavaScript options at the bottom. Uh, this component is really easy to set up and use, and now you know how to use the Magellan component foundation. Now, if you're looking to learn all of the components in foundation the fastest way, we teach this in our intro to foundation class. I'll put the link below, so make sure to check that out. And this is Rafi from the foundation team signing off.